What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Now, you are going to be a little shocked today because, again, we threw in another bonus video because we were sitting here trying to think of uh, this year's game plan, and we came up with two different game plans. You have Anthony's game plan, and you got Sammy's game plan. You're going to get two different videos. This video specifically is going to be covering my version of the game plan. The next video that comes out later today will be covering Sammy's version of the game plan. So you could take either or game plan, see if they work for you. We will be covering them on videos in the future, so stay tuned when the event opens. We will be definitely trying both game plans to see what works best for us. But today, let's talk about my game plan. Uh, game plans are very essential to haunts, especially with, of course, uh, the crowds and everything. So you want to make sure you go through everything. So... Uh, yeah, we always like to do these so you can get a little bit ahead of the curve. Um, and these are going to be based on what we think will uh, draw lines and due to popularity. I don't know. You said I thought you, I thought you wanted to say something. Oh, no, I was I was I was just vibing. I'm just here. I'm having a great time. OK, Coolio. Let's start off with my game plan. So, you know, you're in the you know, you're in that little pre-show right there watching, you know, you know, the fog roll in, you're watching the monsters come out, that amazing audio that I have not heard yet, but it's always great. So I'm excited to see what that is this year. Um, but that amazing pre-show and the monsters coming closer and closer and boom, you hit rope drop, you hit seven o'clock PM, the events officially open. And where do you want to go first? There's so many different options where to go. Well, here's how I would start it. You're going to go want to go all the way down to Ghost Town, all the way down to Fog Alley. Once you hit the re the end, you'll know you'll hit the end because you'll see a giant windmill at the end. Make sure to say hi to Mr. Catawampus there. He he lives right under that windmill. So go say hi to the Catawampus. But you're going to want to go left um, or right, depending on the crowds. Be Keep in mind of the crowds. You can go two ways. You can go down Kmart Alley. You can go towards Birdcage Theater. We're going to recommend you go left. And the only reason I say that is you can cut through the Fireman's Barbecue patio area. That's going to be your shortcut. That's going to straight shot you to your first mage, which will be Origins, the Curse of Calico. Now, Sammy, I know you love the Origins, Curse of Calico. What are we going to do when we get there? Now you're going to want to get in there. You're going to want to talk to the Grave Digger, assuming he's out front. Go ahead and look at the little facades of the characters. And you're going to want to... Get on through. You're going to go and see Sarah Marshall meet her ultimate demise hanging. But at, at the last second, she's going to pull a trick and we are all going to become monsters. Ha 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 ha. Super scary. Super fun. It is one of my favorite mazes. I don't know where it's going to rank this year. I haven't decided just yet, but no, it will be at least in the top 10. I mean, the fact that we got another cookbook original coming back to the event this year, man, it's going to be a little hard with the cinema slasher. You know what I mean? If if the cookbook's behind it, you know we're going to be behind it as well. But, you know, you're going to go on through Origins. You're going to get scared. You're going to learn the, the history of Calico and how it became the infamous ghost town it is today. You're going to go right out the exit, and that's going to take you right to the Grimoire. You're going to... Go further into that story of the witch and, and her evil book and what is causing all this chaos to bring all these creatures to what they are right now and where it's gone throughout the history of time. We're going to start you right in the 80s. We're going to take you to World War II. We're going to go back into like the 70s, 60s, ultimately coming back to the 80s and seeing what this book has done over the centuries that it's been around. So once you hit Grimoire, I know that's uh, another Sammy favorite right there. That was a, a banger last year, right, Mr. Sammy? Yeah, it was an absolute banger. An absolute just the the work that went into that that maze is unreal. Um the I love the black and white scenes. I love the World War II films. I'm a I'm a 40 year old man at heart. Um I, I like World War II. Um so it was really cool. And then you guys going into the eighties and who doesn't love the eighties? Um uh, but then we're going to go to our first new maze, right, Tony? Tell us where we're going here. Yeah, then you're going to go straight out towards the entrance of Pony Express, and you're going to curve around the corner. That's going to take you to another scare zone entitled the Goring 20s. You're going to want to go through that scare zone, see what's going on, see what the Devil's Elixir is doing to the, the townsfolk of Memory Lane see what's going on you're going to be transported right back into that 20s area but we're going to expand this year on that storyline of the devil's elixir and how it became the devil's elixir and, and how it started mutating these people into what they are today 
And we're going to go through our newest maze, brand new for 2023, Room 13, which is going to expand that story of the Goring 20s located in the arcade area of Not Scary, Far Not Scary Farm in Memory Lane. I'm super stoked for this one. It's giving us that 20s vibe with that kind of like hotel feeling. It's giving me a lot of Tower of Terror vibes. Um, so I cannot wait to see what they do and how they expand that storyline of the Goring 20s. I've seen some press releases on this thing that uh, some other people have posted along the interwebs, and it is going to be spicy. I don't want to give Tony any spoilers, because I know Tony is a man that does not like a spoiler. I do not. But there's a lot going on in here. There's a lot more to this story. I know. And it's going to be a fun surprise in Room 13. Room 13. Once you get out of Room 13, you're going to finish off that scare zone of the Goring 20s and make your way to another scare zone. One of our favorite scare zones entitled Carnival. That's going to be all along the boardwalk area. You're going to see those crazy clowns up to no good once again. Who knows? You might get scared. You, you might have a laugh. Who knows? But I guarantee you, you're going to walk out of there and find yourself going through another great maze came in 2021 entitled mesmer sideshow of the mind this one is one of my favorites one of sammy's favorites uh this one's another banger of a maze uh and you're gonna go explore the sideshow and, and maybe a little bit more beyond the sideshow super excited for that sammy uh mesmer one of your favorites as well this was a hard ranking for you remember one year going through that and of course origins origins obviously always taking that spot for you but mesmer another beautiful one right yeah, a really beautiful maze. Um, go on through the red door if you know you know. Um, go and have a great time because there's tons of frights along the way. Uh, and overall, just a, a 10 out of 10 house. Um, and ideally, the wait time will not be absolutely terrible for this one, considering it's its third iteration. Um, so it's a great time. And once you go on out, you're going to cross those railroad tracks. And where are we going next? We're coming backwards. We're coming back to the boardwalk, and we're going to go straight to the new, another brand new maze for 2023. This one is the one that I am most excited for this season. Me just being a movie fan and just kind of being transported into like that movie slasher world. Super stoked for this one. This one entitled Cinema Slasher, where Dark Ride was in last year for its last year uh, back in the not scary farm, not scary farm ballroom area. Uh, we're super stoked to see what this one has to bring what they're going to be bringing to life with this one. There's already a marquee outside of it, so I'm excited to see what they use for that. Um, so that's going to really set up that scene. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what story they tell. There's, there's supposed to be some throwbacks and nods to the past years of Not Scary Farm. And, again, like we mentioned, this is a cookbook original. Uh, so we are super stoked to see what John Cook came up with uh, with this one as well. Um, Sammy, Cinema Slaughter. This one looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. This is, man. This is a. All of these new mazes are are they're they're coming to play. Knots does not drop the ball. I will say that Knots has not dropped the ball since I've been going. I I, I can't speak on previous 2019 because I, I I don't know, but I know that every new maze they've brought has been absolute banger after banger, um, and I anticipate the same thing. Although we're sad to see Dark Ride close its doors but as we go on into the cinema this is going to be a great time i haven't seen anything for this one just yet outside of the key art but it looks good it looks great some would 100%. say uh, yeah I'm, I'm super stoked for it after you get out of cinema slaughter is that what it's called cinema slaughter yeah i don't know i don't know the names i think it's cinema. i slaughter. just know my name i know my name my name is sam your name is Sam. You're going to go to the right towards the Calico stage, and you're going to make a left crossing those railroad tracks back into Ghost Town, but you're going to make a U-turn going under. It's Cinema the Slasher. Cinema Slasher. It's Cinema Slasher. Cinema Slasher. Yeah. There we go. Cinema Slasher. But then you're going to go right under into the tunnel into the entrance of Forsaken Lake. You're going to go visit Forsaken Lake, see what's going on there, which will ultimately take you all the way down to Fiesta Village. Cutting through that, you will go to another scare zone, a returning scare zone, a fan favorite scare zone. The Gauntlet is making its return to Not Scare Farm back in Camp Snoopy. You're going to go through the Gauntlet, see what the Gauntlet has to bring this year. Ultimately, bringing you to another brand new maze 
for the 2023 season, and that is the Chilling Chambers. This one looks a lot of fun. This one is the true tribute house for the 50th anniversary. We're super stoked. I mean, the key art looks great. You have a lot of throwbacks to uh, original properties and whatnot. So this one's going to be a lot of fun to see how they formulate and bring this one back together. Chilling Chambers, Sammy, I know is another one you are looking forward to this year. This is this is gonna I oh man like I said these three new mazes are coming with some heat, um, but a true tribute maze you have trick or treat, uh, I believe you have um, uh, part of, I can't I forget the name it's a bunch of C's the clowns one, uh, something carnivorous clowns I forget the name of it um, and various other ones. I don't. I don't remember the name of it, but it, it's based upon the one of the the first houses ever made or mazes, as they would call it, Ten Chilling Chambers, which began in 1977. But a new take on it. We're gonna get the keeper. Um, if you've been watching, uh, the announcement event or you watched Midsummer Screams panel, um, Knotts has created this new icon as an homage to uh, Sinister Seymour. Um, so the keeper will be guiding you along the way, and I think this is gonna be an a really fun time and going to be worth every minute that you wait. I can promise you that. Yeah. Once you're done with the chilling chambers, you're going to come get spit right up to the gauntlet. Now you're going to make your way all the way past the gauntlet, back to the main entrance, all the way into ghost town. But this time you're going to the left towards ghost rider, go all the way back there to the exit of ghost rider. You're going to reach a place known as gypsy camp. You'll have a lot of merchandise there, a lot of some, you know, a couple food vendors there, maybe for some drinks and all that. But you're going to want to make your way to the first maze back there, uh, which I know will probably be the longest maze back there, which you want to just get out of the way. And that's Bloodline 1842. you got to kill all the vampires, got to shoot them all, got to got to help them get back to uh, bring some law and order in the, in, the, in the townsfolk. So this is another fun one. Uh, make sure to go through that. That was fun last year. Had a great time with that one. What do you think about you, Sammy? I know you had a fun one. Yeah, Bloodline 1842. It was the maze that I was absolutely shouting from the rooftop saying, hey, get rid of those guns. And they're saying this year, you're armed only with your wits and courage. So a lot of people are assuming what they mean by armed with your only your wits and courage is that there will be no gun this year. Which, although we love the gun and Special Ops Infected, and Bloodline 1842, I think it took away from an absolutely beautiful design. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see what we'll be looking like this year without a gun. Um, so it's almost like we're getting four new mazes because of no gun. Because it'll kind of yeah. be a new experience this year. Um, yeah. So we'll we'll have to see how that one plays out. Brand new. When you get out of Bloodline, that's going to spit you out right there. And I'm going to change it up a bit. Sammy probably wasn't expecting this one. I'm going to change it up a bit. Terrible. When you get out of Bloodline, you can go straight to Dark Entities because the entrance will be right there. And it's going to be its farewell year. So make sure to say goodbye to those aliens in space. Because, you know, as a famous movie once said, in space, no one can hear you scream. As another famous movie said, in space, no one can eat ice cream. You I know one of those is Alien. I know which one's Alien. You got Alien. I don't know the other one, though. I'll leave it to you to figure out the second one. Uh, But uh, go through Dark Entities one last time. See what's going on with the ship. The aliens are taking over. And you got to ultimately just try to escape the ship before the uh, infection spreads. And who knows? You might walk out infected or you might not. But after that, it's going to spit you back out to the entrance where you came from originally. Hit through uh, Waxworks. That will be your uh, next maze to go through. It's going to be right under the tracks of Ghost Rider Waxworks, another a great maze. Um, they turn the the life of a wax museum, a, a rundown wax museum, and they find out there's more to it than just the wax figures of how he's making his wax figures and whatnot. It's a, it's a fun time. And to end the night, you're going to come out and pay one last visit to the depths. A favorite of Sammy and I's for a long time. The undersea creatures are going to be coming out one last time to close it out this year. Super stoked, but also super sad. Uh, super sad to see this one go. But I'm excited to see what comes next year. But that is going to do it for my game plan. But we're not done yet. Obviously, 
in a few hours, Sammy's game plan will be out. Or if you guys are watching this at a later date and they're both out, Sammy's game plan video is already out. So go see what Sammy had to say about his uh, game plan this year because we're super stoked. We had two different game plans. Who knows which one will work? Y'all be the judges of that. We'll be putting up vlogs to see how they worked. So make sure to follow us right here and subscribe to the Knights of Horror with those bell notifications beware every time we put up a new video. And also leave some comments down below if the game plan, either my game plan or Sammy's game plan, worked for you the best. But stay tuned because next is Sammy's game plan.